There were easier and less stupid ways of clearing the path for Dr. Freeman or whatever his name is. Oh. Then, okay. Yeah. Then killing a man, reviving him, telling him it was him, and then having him build a resistance army and lead it and then surrender it. And then yeah, I don't kill really... a little girl <laughs> and then get blamed for it. And then distract the army of the Combine. Was this written by Neil Brain? It's possible. It, yeah. I don't know. I, like I gave up trying years. to follow the story. You, you could have framed Mitchell for anything at any time. You could have made him an enemy of the Combine for any number of reasons. And why would why would the whole army of City 17 come after him? What? Why would the entire army come after him just because you killed Sasha? Yeah, that part that part doesn't make for any cut. Years. Whoops. Yes. Bye. That's a fair ending. Goodbye. Oh. Well, you lost the game. <gasps> you just lost the game. Why does it play a cutscene if you die here but not anywhere else? Because he's the bet was, what if I make it out in one piece? Oh, right, right. I got gotcha. you. And you didn't. You immediately. So here's did a fun it. fact: these Gordon Freemans. This is Gordon Freeman, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Right. Hi. Uh, these are Gordon Freemans. Uh huh. They have little dumb ponytails. Yeah, they do. They're so little and stupid. Which uh, Valve uh. cut out of his character design, but the the developers of Hunt Down the Freeman. Wanted to go back to their roots mm. and bring the ponytail back. Why it's stupid. That's my headcanon anyway. I don't know why, they, why he has ponytails here, but that's whatever. They're so low Is it on play his the head, they're just attached. No. Ah, uh, Man. <laughs> this is it, though. That Okay, but here's the thing. That would have been a moderately decent ending. You bet... The yeah. elusive man that I can make it out of here alive, and uh, then I can keep my life, and then you died. Well, so you fucked up, and you lost the bet, and now you're dead. Oh, like oh. that would have been like a real interesting consequence. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Up. Good oh, enough. boy. But no, everything in this game is new. Sorry, I, I'm apparently talking to um to that guy. What guy? That guy. Where's Freeman? Nobody knows. He's been missing since Prospect Blue. He'll be back, possibly in a few hours. But the Combine don't know that. They'll think with Sasha dead that we turned against them. They're going to split their numbers to kill me. That was Adam's plan. Damn. All right, all right. Uh, I'll pick you up. Where are you? I was in a prison near Prospect. Let me check the map. And found it. We'll be there in 15 minutes. 15? I don't think I can survive that long. Look, you have to, Mitchell. Set some defenses. Be smart. I'll try my best. No. Good luck, old friend. No. What you. a fun time. I don't want to do this. That's only 15 more minutes. The whole uh, game. 15 more minutes, and then we're uh, done. But you already lost the bet. You fell off the boat like no, an idiot. No, that wasn't what really happened. Mm. Is cool music playing? Oh. Okay. Why? What's up here? Another point of entry. You need one gun for each floor. No, they have to come up that way. This isn't... This is just a room. Okay. With another turret. Look at this. We've already made it through one minute. We only have 14 left to go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. You're gonna come from everywhere. Okay, man. but realistically, they don't do any damage, so yeah. I should probably be fine. Yeah. Well, how high does this go? It's super high. This is cool. I like this. Yeah. You should carry them all with you to the top and then put them on the stairs. Like that's that set and that set. Yeah. 
That's really That's the fair. best barricade you can build. But then I don't have a turret. The turret seems good. Uh, yeah. They're shooting. They're shooting. Yeah, but if you... If you... What do you mean you don't have a turret? What? You go pick them up and bring them upstairs. I didn't say you didn't have a turret. You literally... Am I... Half I think second. you're having a stroke. No, half a second ago you said, but then I don't have a turret. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I mean this kind of turret. Oh. This kind. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Oh, I cannot tell where I'm shooting. Exactly. This is trash. Exactly. So go and take your security droids. But this is pretty upstairs. effective. Let's be real. Unless they come up the back or something. <clears throat> I think they only come from this way. <sighs> Feels like that's the case. Nope, because there's a ship and you can hear it. Shit. <laughs> oh, they probably land on the roof. So I wouldn't want to be on the roof. See, you were wrong. Mm, Fuck you. No, I don't think so. I think because you would, you'd be funneling them up only the stairs and the turrets would be taking them out before they could come on the stairs. So then you only had to worry about the guys on the roof. But now where you are, you're going to have to worry about them coming from above and below. But, okay. But I can... Okay, I have four turrets. But now you're fighting a war on two fronts, and that's stupid. I have four turrets. Trust me. Trust me. No. Trust me. Believe in this me. This is tactically idiotic. You're tactically idiotic. Often, yes. I'm gonna put right that now, there. No. Put that there. I'm gonna put this one. Uh, oh, I'm gonna shoot this guy with it. You've already fucked up. I'll put this here. Look at all these people who just got in here. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna cover the stairs. Uh -huh. That's perfect. That's exactly the number I need. Uh -huh. Cover both stairs. Uh -huh. Cover the inside. Uh -huh. And then I get the bridge. Uh -huh. It's gonna be great. See. It's gonna be fantastic. I mean, either way, it that does... guy did a jump. Yeah, he did. He's having a good time. Yeah. Either way, it's really not gonna matter because <laughs> That's true. nothing matters. But you know, I'm just saying that's how God. I would have done it. I really like how these guys all fling themselves uh -huh. off the cliff cinematically. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. When they die. It's very thoughtful of them. I don't even think I'm getting hit. Oh, well, there we go. You are. Have you always had 200 health? No, that's a new thing. Okay. I just suddenly have 200 health. Cool. The game just makes changes. Yeah. As it suits it. It doesn't yeah. care. Oh, oh, that's doing a lot of damage. Those snipers, Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Stop quoting John Tron. We don't like him anymore. Never. Oh, shit. Are you fucking serious? Yes. God damn it. That's it. No, that's it's it. not. No. Why? So, so are you telling me you can't lose this game? What do you mean? You can't lose the game? You just, like... You just win? You get away? What is your? I don't understand what you're asking me. I don't understand. Like the 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 end game bet is to make it out in one piece. If you respawn exactly where you were and start over each time, like then the only option is to win. Yeah, yeah well, it's I a guess video they're all, game. Yeah, I guess they're all. Yeah. Okay, what I figured it out. I figured it. I listen. I figured my shit out. Good. It's fine. You gotta figure your shit out more often. I got it. I did. Why would he do something like that? Why would he do something like that? He's been missing since Prospect Blue. He'll be back, possibly in a few hours. But the Combine don't know that. They'll think with Sasha dead that we've turned against yeah, them. Yeah. They're going to split their numbers to kill me. That was Adam's plan. Damn. All right, all right. But I'll pick you up. What? There were so many chances to just kill him. Why? I don't know. I'm going to call you water. And found it. We'll be there in 15 minutes. 15? I don't think I can survive that long. Did you have a question? No. Huh. I'm just having a stroke. Okay. God be with you. Sorry. It's okay. Do I have any sort of uh, snipey type weapon? No. no. Well, that's kind of a problem. Hmm. I guess once mm -hmm. the snipers come in, we just hunker down inside. Yeah, I suppose. Did I deploy all the turrets now? Okay. No.
The only thing that's a threat is the snipers yeah. and falling to my death. Yeah. So, everything's deployed. Uh-huh. We're gonna save. Yeah. 14 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, wow. Two weapons. That's all I got. Where do all your weapons go? They disappeared. Ugh. Oh, I don't even have a melee weapon to open these crates. Amazing. That's dumb. Okay, well, don't fall to your death this time. Okay. Alright. I don't even know how you fell to your death last time. How did you do that? I fell in a hole or something. Oh. I'm not really sure. There's just a hole there for no reason. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Instead of deleting your guns, it just deleted the floor. <laughs> okay. That's sure, yeah. Because it felt like it. God, this game is like, what is, how, why? Yeah. But don't use your actual guns because there's no ammo up here. Right. It's actually not much ammo anywhere. Yeah. I think I might be carrying all the ammo there is. <laughs> what? What do you mean? All what the ammo that it has for me. I, I think I already have it. Can oh, you blow can this hear... no, uh, no, of course not. You can hear the security turrets yelling halt. It's so cute. I don't... Ow. I think that's the guys. You think the guys are yelling halt a lot? Probably. Oh, alright. Where did you put the turrets? There and around the corners. Okay. I think the snipers showed up at like twelve. Minutes? Yeah, you had you had a you had some time though of shooting the guys up on the rocks, and then the sniper. Came. Yes, true. Yeah. You beep. They do make a cute beep. Yeah. I do enjoy that. Well, so this is the end. Mm -hmm. well, how, how did you feel about this video game? Would you recommend it to your friends? Mm -hmm. That's it. I plan to spend this next 11 minutes um, achieving a state of catatonia. Because it's oh. preferable to watching 11 minutes of you shooting a single gun <laughs> into the air. <laughs> yeah. It's better. I understand. It's better. I would rather be a nothing person than witness this. Well. That was exciting, right? Something exciting happened. <laughs> um, yeah, so... A long time ago, when I first started playing this, I kind of wanted to do a review of it once yeah. we were done. Yeah. Because I think it's it's worthwhile to talk about, like... Yeah. What it did wrong, and, like, why it was wrong, and... And how it tried to... Because I think it, I, I still maintain that it does some cool things, like, yeah. that cool, that cool things are happening. Uh-huh. Um. Like what? I'm gonna save again, just to be safe. Um. I, well, I, th that's the thing, is, like, I think we've talked about all this in episodes of this yeah. already. Yeah. Um. Just the idea of, of a side story to Half-Life 2 is cool. Yeah. Um, like, telling that that's where I fell. That's, that's fucking yeah, where I fell. Um, telling the story of a villain in the yeah. Half-Life universe. But how, okay, maybe I missed a lot of significant plot points, but how is this man a villain? He's trying to kill Gordon Freeman. I, the problem well, is... I don't have any stakes in Yes, right. About but the other problem is that he's an accidental villain. He's not a real villain. He's yeah. been tricked. So it's like not yeah. even... But also... Really... Revenge plots are 
like one in a million. True. So I don't find that this makes him inherently villainous. I mean, from his perspective. Yeah. He, whatever, oh. whatever Gordon Freeman is, from his perspective, Gordon Freeman killed him and his entire team. That's a good point. That's a, a fair point. In a government cover-up. So he's carrying the mantle of avenging his whole well, team, which makes him not a villain. Yeah, but Mitchell was there to do the government cover-up, just mm. for the record. Was he? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so... All where, those guys who came into Black Mesa after the... Yeah. The Resonance Cascade were there to kill the scientists okay. and destroy the evidence. Okay. So Mitchell was the cleanup team. Yeah. Which is why they're the villains in Half Life. Yeah. And so becoming them makes you the villain in this game. Yeah. But. It, but then his whole team got killed. You. We already did that story in. Yeah. In. Um, uh, Opposing Force for Half Life 1. Mm -hmm. We've already had. And actually, spoilers for the yeah. end of this game. That's fine. Um, you are the protagonist's brother uh, yeah. from from uh, opposing force. Yeah. Um, Adrian Shepard. Uh -huh. It turns out that your name actually, your last name isn't Mitchell. Your first name is Mitchell. Wow. Oh. Mitchell Shepard. Mm. And Adrian Shepard was your brother. Okay. Um, which is a stupid plot twist, and who cares? Yeah. Uh, but like we've already got the story of of the military guys who went in, so yeah. that's not a, a an yeah. un untapped well, you know? Right, right. Um, so then it's just, okay, be the villain in Half-Life 2. And I don't think it does that very well either. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, so he's a villain because he's part of the cleanup team. It gets kind of convoluted because his whole team was killed and he's trying to avenge them. Uh, maybe you could say that it's morally gray. That's what we're looking for. But then, from that premise, it goes completely off the rails once you involve the G-Man. Because it's like, okay, well, so we'll rebuild you, and then you can go and avenge your team, and then it's fine. But then, it's not that. Then Mitchell looks at himself as a villain for reasons that are unclear. And and then it's and then it's a whole plot to kill Mitchell or something. Kill kill Mitchell it's and make too things easy. It's too easy. convoluted right. to be a satisfying Half Life story. I yeah, think, first of all, because what did the G Man want? Have Mitchell killed and make the pave the way for Gordon Freeman to do something. And I'm assuming you would know yeah. what he's trying to do if I knew anything about Half-Life. Right. But there are less off-the-wall ways of doing that. You know what I mean? So oh, yeah. Like, totally. So, like, all that stuff about how he's cursed and everyone in his team it, dies. Yeah. That was irrelevant. And then you went to Alaska for what? To rescue some to children? Get yeah, and, and then they become the child children. soldiers for okay. you. Okay, well, so then maybe you could say, like, that's why you're the villain, is because it's like freeing the children, you... Yeah, but that's one of the most underplayed them. plot points yeah, in the whole it, game. Yeah, but they just breeze past it. And that's what I don't understand, because, like, there's your villain angle. Like, he yeah. did what he had to do to resist the combine. Is that the word? Mm. He did what he had to do. Yeah. And that's like your real, like, mm, that's like your real <laughs> juicy villain angle, you know. But then he, so he does this like morally awful thing in the name of like humankind and maintaining independence from them. But then he just turns them over. He just, you know, and does that make him worse? I don't, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It, uh, it's interesting. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. Uh, it's interesting that the game wants so badly to... For Mitchell to be a villain. Because it, yeah. was, it was like sold as like, Oh, you get to be the villain in a, in a Half-Life game. Yeah, yeah. And then it kind of flubs the villain stuff. Yeah. It like but then it, off. But then it's it, like bad, but not too bad. Yeah. But then... Uh-huh. It like romanticizes the villain stuff. 
And yeah. and Mitchell's always like, oh, I'm, oh god, I'm such a villain, and he's like rubbing his nipples and I stuff. I know. <laughs> like that whole that whole discussion with Sasha, where she's just like, I want to fuck you, and he's like, it's because I'm so bad. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Don't worship me. I'm evil. And you're like, what? so it's just, it's just like I don't even know what it's trying to do. Yeah. And like, why was Sasha suddenly sexually attracted to him? Like. What was that whole... And then he's horrified by her loss. You know? Yeah. But he he didn't... First of all, he didn't even see her. On screen, he did not Oh, the first time ever, when she was a kid? Yeah. On screen, he did not ever meet her. Yeah, that's probably true. But even true. then, he just... Like, the father ran away with them after he kidnapped all the kids. So, when would they have crossed paths and built this deep, meaningful... I remember you were my hero. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was, was on a, a boat child. for he's, 17 he's years. He was on a boat for 20 years. Like... <laughs> but then, like, you run into her all these years later, and she recognizes you instantly, and then tells you that she's had hero worship for you yeah. her entire life. Is this like, broken? How? Maybe they... Did they break my turret? They broke it. What a bunch of bastards. I didn't know you could break those. I guess you can. Oh my god, what if this gets hard in the last uh, three and a half minutes? I'm deeply skeptical of that. But yeah, just, yeah, it doesn't... just throw it at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just nothing, nothing makes sense. No. Everything is, everything... Every, like, plot point in this game is immediately undone by the next plot point. Mm-hmm. And that makes everything utterly fucking meaningless. It's like this game is the Last Jedi. Oh in God! Game. Don't open that can of worms. I'm, I'm, the Last yes. Jedi is a thousand percent okay. a better yes story than yes, this. Yes, but they have the same issue where just it's just a nothing. It's nothing because things happen, but then they're undone, and like everything yeah. is temporary. Every plot point is temporary, yeah. so there's no stakes in anything. That you know, it's yeah. the same. No, I, I know. It's the same issue. What? They these guys have their physics like turned up a thousand percent. I know they're all just like, flinging all over. Maybe it's because there's so many guns on the floor. The physics is freaking out. <laughs> yeah, we did crash a game once by throwing a. Trash <laughs> so. It's not a trash can. It was a suitcase. I'm sorry. Get that shit right. I'm sorry. In my mind, I really need it to be a trash can. Why are there bloody handprints all over the wall? They're just bloody. Spot, spot mm -hmm. That looks, yeah, that hand. looks like a hand burn. That's pretty That's hand. Fair. Many of those are pretty hand. Pretty hand. Very hand. Just come up the stairs. No. Let my turrets shoot you. It's more fun that way. You will not. Shoot him. Get oh, him. I can't see him. He's confused and looking at you. Just really cute. You're dumb. You're a dumb idiot. And I love you. Oh. I shall name you Sam. Sam? This one is Sam. Not Dan. Not Dan. Oh. It was tempting, um, but we've already had a shopping cart named Dan. Oh, in this playthrough we did. Yeah, yes. that was so long ago I forgot. R.I.P. Dan. I'm sorry to have left you behind. It wasn't our fault. We he phased a through a I, tent. He went right through a wall, yeah. <laughs> I think that we should end this let's play with a tribute. Yeah. Okay. okay. I can do that. Okay. Use my amazing editing skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play Just some... Just like uh, all grayed out, but play like actual Godfather music instead of knockoff Godfather uh, music. I was going to play some like Sarah McLaughlin. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> That's the one. For sure. Okay, so what are we expecting in this last 30 seconds? Our team just like miraculously a lot I arrives. I think it might just fade out. Distraction. But I'm not sure. You think it just fades to nothing and then it's a cutscene? It's possible. Yeah. Or we have to go to the roof. I'm not I'm not sure which. I'm I'm oh. thinking we're going to have to go. I'm out of ammo. I wonder where I'll get uh, more ammo from. Who can say? Oh, I'm full. Wow. Seven. Oh, I destroyed my other turret. Ah. He killed Sam. Oh, I see. Yeah, Aww. it just fades out. <laughs> As you're still getting shot. Yeah. I'm fine now, though. My friends got you're here. Fine I'm fine. Yeah. I have many bullet hole wounds in my chest. Yeah. But, but I'm it's fine. okay. Totally okay.
<clears throat> this is our last time waiting 20 minutes for a cutscene. How will we live game? without I waiting I don't know. through these loading screens? This was our last confusingly abrupt uh, is the game broken or is it just a new play area <laughs> cutscene. <laughs> we made it back to the boat. The boat that we surrendered to the combine, you mean? I guess we that didn't surrender boat? the boat. We just gave them our soldiers. As if they would accept our army and not our boat. The boat has been the only way we've been holding out for all these yeah, years. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, look at that motherfucker. Wow. Where the hell were you? Oh my gosh. So there's still resistance soldiers on the boat? Yeah, apparently. Maybe there's just enough crew to run the boat? <laughs> but there was a huge speech about everybody surrendering. Shut up, though. You know this music reminds me of the 300. I haven't. Mm. I watched it once, but... Oh, he's running! Because of the curse. Did he just say the curse? That's what? what he said, right? No. What? No. He said Adam. No, no, no. Adam said the curse. Or something. Did he? I think so. I must... I don't know. Which doesn't make any sense because it doesn't have anything to do with the curse. Like, you fucking know what you did. I don't think that's what he said. Uh, we'll have to do a replay. Why are his legs separate from his butt? Where is he going, also? Uh, yeah, also, where is he fucking going? Uh, Mitch, look. Oh, your crotch is stretching very uncomfortably. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitch, please. Shoot him! Uh, Mitchell, look, I can explain. You lied to me. No, that wasn't the deal. He, he told me. Uh, uh, Mitch, please. You betrayed me. Uh, no, no, that, no, that, you would die instantly. That's not, you don't get to keep talking. You fucked up my face. Wow. <laughs> That's the line. Uh, bitch, please. I, I can explain. You have my permission to die. That was a very juicy sound. Okay. I'm so done with this game. The game is done with itself. Uh, just end. <laughs> Ready for your orders, Captain. Aw, oh, say something cool. Turn the ship. We're going to forty hours. Oh god. <sighs> okay. That's so fucking stupid. Everything was That's the stupid. dumbest thing I've ever you, listen, heard. Listen, you can't shoot someone in the gut at point blank range multiple times and have them keep trying to explain <laughs> something to you all of that was stupid okay i just have to clarify that ending for the last sure, line for yeah, you yeah, yeah, borealis yeah. is where half-life 3 was going to take place half-life 3 is never going to happen now never happening but it's where it was supposed to take place so this game mm -hmm. is setting up that mitchell mm -hmm. will go to borealis and meet up with Gordon, Gordon Freeman? Gordon Freeman doesn't have it's like, a credit, which I actually kind of liked. It's like never saw him. trying to inject itself into Half-Life Half -Life 3. 3. Yeah. Oh. That's so far up its own ass. It's I so can't. far up its own ass. <laughs> yeah, well, but why? What's in Borealis? Why is he going? Um, oh, God, you would ask me that. Um, yeah. Shit. Well, because, because the game just established that Gordon Freeman was... Going to Sector 17 to do something. So how does he know? 
How does he know, How does he know that Gordon Boreal- Freeman is going to the Borealis? Yeah, they all uh, just said, I think he'll be here in a little while, I but who know. knows? How does he fucking know that? He doesn't. This is so, like, it breaks the walls so, like, it's, like, so meta of everything. Like, the creators of this game don't bother to explain how he knows what he knows. Yeah, because they you already just, played Half-Life 2, so yeah. Mitchell knows, right? Because you're Mitchell. Because you already, You know everything about yeah, Half-Life 2. right. And that's so lazy. That's so lazy. Because even if, even like, even in movies and stuff, if it's related to something else, there's usually some kind of context of, like, here's how my character knows what you know. Yeah. You know? There's no reason for well, him to you, know fucking any of this. Holy but shit. But he just does. Special thanks, Hideo Kojima. What? What? Robert Zemeckis? What? What the f- These are thanks for being my influence. Is that what that they is? They fucking had nothing to do with it. No, this. I know they had nothing to do with it. What? Nathan's <laughs> here. Oh my god. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was Hunt Down the Freeman, everybody. Okay, I'm going to bed, and uh, I'm gonna just wish I die. I- here- uh, Yeah. Can I just say? Mm-hmm? We beat that game. Yeah. Without a walkthrough. Yeah. Which a lot people of people who played it, thrust? yes. The answer is find a door. The answer is wander around for a while. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's because this is the patched version and it was even Worse? more broken before. Maybe. It, it may be that we played it a much easier yeah, version you, to you complete. S- you set it up that it would be impossible and extremely buggy and it was mostly functional. Yeah, I think they it's just, just fixed bad. it. It's just sometimes the windshield is 30 miles to the left of your actual truck. <laughs> You know, I, but I mean, that happens if it's windy, you know, your windshield just blows to the left. Yeah. It happens all the time. I drive a Jeep. It's what happens, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. That was it. I can't believe we we did it. We made it. We made it. Wow. I regret every life choice I've made. I we regret making us play this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, so get your finger off the pulse of YouTube. Because you was clearly, clearly are not, not a doctor. It was not on the pulse. You very obviously don't know what's going on. So I think I just had my finger up my own ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where you found this game. Is up an oh. ass. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, this is up the ass of all of us. It's the only way to find it. You know? You just have to get so far up your own ass that you reach their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Really, in the end, all our asses are, are connected. We're all one ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>